how have the words of others impacted you? Hey guys, Andrew here with Unlocked, your daily key to open up your heart to God. Am I the only one that's ever felt hurt by someone's hateful words? I don't think I am, because words are incredibly powerful. They can tear down, damage, injure, and hurt. But they can also encourage, build up, and comfort. We're going to talk about that in our devotion here today called Words Have Power, which was written by Savannah Coleman. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That saying could not be further from the truth. The Word of God says our words do matter. They have the power to build up or tear down, to wound or to heal. Proverbs 18 verse 21 even says the tongue has the power of life and death. In the book of James, the tongue is compared to the bit in a horse's mouth, the rudder of a ship, and a small start that starts a blazing fire. For more, check out James chapter 3 verses 3 through 5. With this much power, the tongue sometimes sets the whole course of one's life on fire, as we see in verse 6. These shocking images show the importance of our words, as well as the impact they have in the world. So what are your words going to be like today? Will there be a refreshing stream of cool water to those who are around you, who are thirsting for hope? Or will your words alternate between praising God and cursing the people he made? Like a stream trying to produce both salt and fresh water. Will your words encourage others according to their needs? Or grieve the heart of God who loves you? Will your words reflect the hope found in Jesus? You are God's dearly beloved child through faith in Christ. Therefore, you're empowered by the Holy Spirit to walk in his light and share his love and hope with your words. So let's talk about this. How have the words of others impacted you? How can you communicate Jesus' love and truth in your speech? How does what you say and how you say it affect your message? Ask God to show you what needs to change in your speech and to give you wisdom about how to demonstrate the gospel through your words. Lean on the help of his Holy Spirit as you seek to glorify God with your speech. Now, as we read in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Now, I'd encourage you to read Ephesians chapter 4, verses 29 through 32, as well as James chapter 3, verses 1 through 11, to help keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a service of Keys for Kids Ministries, and it's listener supported. A monthly gift of even just $5 goes a long way to help us keep Unlocked free and going strong into the future. For more information, you can check out unlocked.org or visit the Give page in our app. Until next time, I'm Andrew, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.